Alrighty, so I've now left Calgary and I'm now in Victoria in uh, BC, British Columbia and I'm here for three nights. I kept getting mixed up. I thought this was four nights and Vancouver was three but it's three nights here, four nights in Vancouver. So I leave Sunday. So I've got about two and a half days here because my ride back to Vancouver on Sunday is at like quarter past three in the afternoon um so yeah so it's now like seven o'clock i've been here for about two hours now um but yeah i've been traveling since like 10 o'clock this morning technically nine o'clock this morning bc time time zones man time zones um yeah so i'm just chilling out here watching tv catching up with some friends online stuff like that and tomorrow I'm going to start exploring. There's a few places that I kind of want to check out. And then um, a few things I might do, might not. Don't know. We'll see, you know, how everything else goes. Because I'm kind of just going to wander the streets and see how I go along the way. And, um, yeah, so catch up then. But for now, here's my little room for the next couple of days. So... Put the TV on, it's a door, wardrobe, cupboard thing. And then in there, again, the dark spot is the bathroom. Um, so yeah, so I'm pretty central at the moment. Um, I get breakfast and dinner included in the price, but dinner tonight was like shepherd's pie, which had no meat in it whatsoever, so quite frankly, you can't call it a shepherd's pie, but we'll move on. It was still good. Um, but yeah, anyway, so... That's me for tonight. I didn't film anything in Calgary just because I was studying for one day and then I was doing stuff. Just kind of wandering the streets of Calgary so there's nothing really exciting to update you on. Um, but yeah, I will film again tomorrow and Saturday and all of that and uh, I'll see you then. I'm currently in what is apparently Canada's oldest Chinatown. Very small, but I've noticed that with um, Calgary as well, the Chinatown was quite small. So, yeah, um, heading down to the harbour right now, and I don't know what's down there, so we'll find it as we go. I've kind of just been wandering the streets aimlessly. Um, there was Centennial Square at one point, which I might take you back to later today because it seems to light up, which is pretty cool. So. See then the dark. I uh, went to the public market, wasn't a lot there, but yeah. So that's me for the moment, and pretty much down at the harbour now. This is apparently Market Square, which as you can see is pretty, um, pretty dead. Um, I assume summer or weekends is probably more busy, but. I don't know, it's not that cold out here, so I don't know why. But, anyway, there's a few cafes around, but not a lot, so keep exploring and uh, update you as I go. I'm on the other side of the river now, where you can get a view of the main part of Victoria. What is on my finger? Well, yeah, so you can get a uh, view of the main part of Victoria, which is pretty old compared to all the other cities. over there. I don't know if you can hear the bells but I'll head over there later. I th think that's the current town hall but I could be wrong because I passed City Hall on the way here. So I'm not sure if that's the old one that's new. I, I, I don't know. I'll let you know when I get to it. Um, but it's quite pretty down here. So there's a few more totem poles which seem to be a common thing in BC. Um, but all the fancy hotels are down this end, obviously, because it's right on the harbour. Ah, harbour, that's what I was looking for before. Anyway, so, yeah. I'll let you know when I figure out what that building is. Alright, I made it, and uh, it's huge. Basically, this monstrosity, this humongous building, is the Victoria Legislature, so I assume that's the government house. 
Um, yes. Da, 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 da. Yep. Cool. Um, making sure I can stand here. Uh, statue. Uh, the Museum of British Columbia is across the road. So basically, I walked. Pulled up. More than over there. With that fancy building is in the distance. Around. And all the way down here. Um, it's actually not that far. It just took me a while because I was going in and out of um, souvenir shops as I go. Which I'll probably go back to either today or tomorrow to uh, figure out... Or to buy stuff, really. To buy stuff. Um, I'm just deciding what to get. And um, whether I should get it here or Vancouver. Because I've seen a lot of the stuff in Vancouver as well when we were there the other day. So... I may get it in Vancouver, but I've seen a few things um, here that I haven't seen anywhere else. So I'll um, make a decision on that. Maybe buy some stuff today or tomorrow, but for now, it's lunchtime, so I better go find myself some food. So I've got it myself to Beacon Hill Park, which I assume is just a big piece of parkland. I don't know. Um, I remember seeing it on the like things to, to see and do in Victoria. Um, list so I've just found my way here without even realizing because I was just again wondering um, I did get myself some food in case you were wondering or cared uh, it was very nice uh, so anyone who happens to come to Victoria give uh, Frankie's Modern Diner a go because it's really good food it's quite nice um, but yeah so Let's take a look at Beacon Hill Park and uh, see what it's all about. I mean, if we went for the road there, this would be a um, very creepy walkway. And still kind of is. But we're on an adventure. So, I have a feeling I'm about to walk to the top of this. And no, that's, I'm talking about that. Um, well, it is called Beacon Hill, so makes sense. But, yeah, interesting. Not really what I was expecting, but hey, we'll see what the view's like from the top, shall we? It ends somewhere really pretty. This is, um, really nice and I took the dirt path instead of the cemented one that would be right oh my god look at all the ducks over there hold up look at them that's insane it's nice though nice little area all right if there's any other pretty views to show you I will get to it Yellow fire engine. That's cool. Alright, so I'm currently at the side of the Royal BC Museum. At some really old houses and stuff, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna check those out and then uh, keep wondering. I'm still getting over a yellow fire engine though, that's pretty cool. Anyway, exploring I go. It is Saturday now. And I've just gone to this castle um, out of fear of that's wrong. I'll put future Ashley will put the name of the castle down there. Um, of course, being the castle is at the top of the goddamn top of the only hill in Victoria. All right, so this used to be the main bedroom, which was turned into um, a military hospital so they kind of closed stuff off which I've now realised means this fireplace is not scented and the light fixture up here which is, yep the light fixture there is not scented and now I'm very Imagine all this without those houses. 
That's pretty much the views they would have had. No houses, sprawling land. It's insane. But it's very nice. I would have filmed a bit more while we were there, except uh, there were a fair few people that came up while I was in there, so yeah, but the view is incredible and I mean, they've done a really good job with them. Um, with restoring everything so yeah but now we're heading to government house which is somewhere down here I'm at the end of the street so I'm gonna have to look at a map um, can't go on a tour or anything they only do tours like once a month and that's on the next one's the 3rd of Feb or something I'm pretty sure that's it there um, so yeah so I'm gonna go and cross at a crossing this time instead of just wherever and uh, have a quick look at Government House, the outside anyway, and then head off to lunch. I know where I'm going. I'll tell you more when I get to it. <laughs> there it is, Government House. It was actually a lot closer than I expected it. When I get to a better spot, I will show you the view that they have. Here we are at the lookout. It will focus, don't you worry. We all get there. I tell it's all mountain. Hang on, I'll zoom in. And I have come downhill because there's government house peeking through there. So you can imagine the type of view they get. Now walking down to lunch, I'm going to a place called, I think it's called the Interactivity Board Game Cafe. So basically you can pay like $5, play unlimited um, board games and stuff for an unlimited amount of time. If you leave before 3pm, it's $3, but um, apparently the milkshakes are really, really good. So I'm going to go check them out for a bit of a break. Um, don't know if I'll be able to film because I assume being a set day it'll be quite busy. Um, also don't know if I'll play any games because I'm on my own so I'd have to find someone to play with. But yeah, so that's me for the moment. I only got a milkshake from the cafe and then went to find something else for lunch. Um, but it looks pretty cool so if and when I come back here um, I have to come with someone so that I can actually go and play the games because it was... You know, it was really, really cool. So basically, like, sit at a table, they bring your food and drinks to the table, stuff like that. And, yeah, you can just play how many games you want for however long you want and stuff like that. So it was pretty cool. It was pretty busy, which made sense. It was Saturday lunchtime. Um, I didn't end up going back to the fountain at night time because pretty much by the time I get back here, you know, I do stuff I need to do here. And then I just could not be bothered to, um, to go back out. So, yeah. Um... Also went to a really nice little diner, like old school kind of diner, um, for lunch. I think it was built in the 50s, and um, yeah, it had like, it, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but it was basically like the old type, old style diner, um, which was really good. But yeah, so it's Sunday now, I'm going to finish packing my backpack now, and head out for a few hours because I don't have to be at the bus until quarter past three. Checkouts at 11. It's going to be a big day. I uh, probably won't film anything after this because, well, um, I don't think I'm going to do anything big between now and when I leave and then when I go to Vancouver I'm going on a um, bus and a ferry so it's about four hours travel time all up. So. Um, I don't get into Vancouver until like 7.30 tonight or something. So yeah, so probably won't film anything else, but that is beautiful Victoria. It's, um, yeah, it's really nice and I've had a good time here. Very relaxing and stuff. And, um, Vancouver's the last stop. I'm there for four nights. And then I head home on Thursday. Friday, very early Friday morning, my flight is on, is at like 1.30am Friday morning, so there's no point getting a hotel room for Thursday night, so I have to leave my luggage at the hotel pretty much all day until I head to the airport at like 9 o'clock Thursday night, so that's going to be another big day, but we'll push through. Um, anyway, so yes, that's it. Um, just gonna finish packing up, wander the streets, and I'll more than likely see you in Vancouver.